I told him my story. And I kind of expected it to go how it had gone in the other meetings. It almost felt like deja vu, where I was expecting pushback. I was expecting a lot of, are you sure that happened? Are you sure that's how that went? Are you sure it wasn't this? But it was the complete opposite of that. He listened to my entire story and he started weeping. He showed empathy. He showed remorse. He showed anger. And he told me that he was going to do something about this, that he was going to go to leadership and he was going to make change happen. He was going to provide some clear path forward for women that have gone through this so that they're able to have these situations be properly handled. And in the end, they didn't apply anything that he suggested. And the entire thing just fell to the ground. And he left IHOP a couple months later. And we've never really discussed it since then. I'm still very thankful that he was willing to talk to me and that he was so validating of my experience. But at the same time, that does not replace an actual apology from the leaders that mishandled my situation. He can apologize day and night for how my situation was handled, but that's no different from an apology from any other person hearing my story because he didn't mishandle it. That's not the apology that I need. 